easy come, easy go. That's just how you live. Oh, take, take, take it all, but you never give. Should've known you was trouble from your first kiss. Had your eyes wide open. Why but they open? Oh. So uh, my name is George Lovett, and um, I'm from Baltimore, Maryland. Virginia. I started noticing that I could sing from, you know, my grandmothers. They would make me sing at, you know, all the family functions. I didn't know why, but, you know, they just figured I could sing for some reason. So I used to always sing like Whitney Houston and stuff like that. Baltimore School for the Arts where I was a voice major and um, my voice teacher there um, knew someone who was looking for students to join um, um, an elite singing group at Savannah College of Art and Design and they were supposed to be on full scholarship and um, so my teacher recommended me and the guy they flew out to Baltimore to hear me sing and um, we actually couldn't get inside the venue where I was supposed to audition, so he was just like, well, just sing right now, you know, if you can sing, you can sing anywhere. <laughs> I was just like, okay. So, you know, I was um, very classically trained at the time. I still am classically trained, but I don't focus on that anymore. But, um, and I sang like some French aria, and I think I sang something kind of contemporary. And he was just like, yeah, okay, so we want you to come to the school. We definitely want you to come. Um, you'll be on full scholarship, you know, we're going to be called the Honeybees. <laughs> My mom was kind of excited, she was kind of sad, but, you know, because I'm her, her firstborn child, and, you know, the oldest, so she, it's kind of hard for her to let me go, but <laughs> I had to do that for myself, I didn't want to um, be another statistic. I, my mom, she had me at a pretty young age, and it was just me and her, so, you know, we didn't grow up in the best parts of Baltimore. It was kind of rough. Dougie Styles, director for Magic 103.9 and WEAS. To SSU, all the ladies in the office in administration jamming on the J.O.B. We appreciate y'all keeping it right here. Your requests are coming up from E93. Well, a guy like George, um, and I discovered him. I'm new to the area, so I discovered him when... I went to uh, an outdoor festival and he performed and I was like, God, this guy is amazing. Um, Not even 10 years ago, and you know, singers were, you know, about, you know, it's about love and all of that stuff. So, you know, that's the kind of the aspect of music that I kind of want to reintroduce or like revive because, you know, I feel like it's, it's a, music is an, is an art form, and I feel like the, the artistic aspects of music is, is being kind of flushed out, and mm, you can hear it in my voice, it just makes makes me so uncomfortable, it makes me so upset, and I, I know the capabilities that I have as a, as a singer and as a performer, and I know that I have the ability to, you know, kind of bring that back to, to mainstream.
Coming up next, independent artists recognized for undeniable talents. Good old down south home cooked chicken? Well, you've come to the right place. Northern Chicken Express offers a variety of your favorite chicken dinners from the two piece dark meat chicken with fries for only $2.99 to the three piece mix with fries for a little less than $6. With down south southern hospitality, Northern Chicken Express ensures that you'll leave with a smile and a plate full of chicken. Visit us at 3125 Skidaway Road in Savannah, Georgia, or call in. Come on down to Nerobia's Grits and Gravy, where we love you more than biscuits and gravy. And keep it simple and tasty. We have a variety of foods to choose from, a seafood omelet, salmon breakfast, and fried chicken and grits. We also have a patio for you to enjoy the nice weather with our special lemonade to help cool you down on these hot savannah mornings. Come on by Grits and Gravy, located at 2019 Harrison Street, where we're filled with Looking for a wide selection of flavored shisha or maybe a nice cigar? Well, it's time to stop by Smoke City, your one-stop shop for tasty shisha, tobacco accessories, a fine variety of cigars, hookahs and hookah cases, vaporizers, and more. Decorate your pad and bizarre posters and the essence of incense. We sell cigarettes, cigars, hookahs, shisha, water pipes, anything for your smoking needs. Come to Smoke City. With four locations, Smoke City Smoke Shop of Jacksonville, Orange Park, San Jose, and Savannah, Georgia, are proud to assist you. Smoke City, let's experiment. Need a fresh do or fresh cut? Well, Salon Serrate is the place to come, where your whole family can come and get their needs met. We have five stylists and two barbers on staff. We specialize in sew-ins, quick weaves, braids, and blowouts. Also offered is eyebrow arching and eyelash extensions. We use nothing but the best on our customers with products by Design Essentials. We have two of the best barbers in town who specialize in any type of cuts from tip fades, tape ups, and low cuts. We have weekly specials and we offer military and student discounts at 10%. So come on down to Salon Serrate, located at 4437 Skidaway Road, or call to book your appointment today at 912-355-5750. Starting the church, that's where I get my training from. That's where the majority of us artists get our training from. So I started at the age of five and you know it just progressed from there. I wish I never met you, wish we never did it. It's just history repeating. Bruised hearts, hurt feelings, and scars from the healing. From day one I told her she has a lot of potential and she just has to let it out. And uh she's just She's a, a legend. I'm Will Serious, host and program director of the Will Serious Show. 
Um, I've been doing the show for the last 14 years now. Now, I wouldn't put myself in the drum genre because I'm so versatile. Like, I can do R&B, I can do neo soul, I can do pop if I want to. I just do what I feel. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't categorize myself, myself in the box, you know. So um, I wouldn't really put myself in the genre. When I first heard a song by Shanta Renee, uh, her producer, one of her producers that she works with, uh, a talented guy by the name of Vic Wilkinson, um, came to me and he said, hey man, check the song out. And I listened to it and like I said, one of the first things I pick up on is the voice. Like, the girl can sing. I've been listening to like a lot of old school music growing up, um, Isley Brothers, um, Ella Fitzgerald, Anita Baker, um, artists like that. So I've been exposed to uh, old school music growing up. Uh, talk about real life experiences, I want to make sure that I'm on an international perspective and not just biased to I'm just talking to a black woman or I'm just talking to black men or I'm just talking to Caucasian women or Caucasian women. Um, I think Mocha Man was the first song I actually heard. Uh, she has a video for that and I really like that. Um, her voice, uh, her lyrics are very soulful and, uh, and uh, her lyrics make sense and it, it's one thing to be able to sing but if you can sing words that speaks to the soul of a person that speaks to life experience and something everybody can relate to you know if you've been through a relationship if you've been in love if you've been hurt if you uh, felt lost or felt the feeling of having a crush on somebody whatever if you can get somebody to tap into those emotion and pull those heartstrings you got a hit and was was very emotional for me because i had to come out of that kind of shell I was in and you know as an artist you, you evolve so it's kind of like I was kind of staying in a pocket and so the regretful was like I had to really put my emotions out there I had to really you know put my one of my feelings on my sleeve so like it was tears and everything you know with writing it in the booth it was kind of like I don't really want to do this it's like you got to do it you got to let that emotion out so it was a very emotional experience for me and writing it it was um, from a a real experience I had a relationship that I was in and it was kind of like in the beginning everything was all you know willy-nilly and cool and it was the honeymoon stage and things start to progress and it started to go downhill and I didn't understand it and you know after we broke up it was like you know I regret this like I don't regret anything that I do in life but I put all myself into this and it didn't work out so it's kind of like it was a heartbreaking experience so when you listen to the song Regretful it's, it's coming from a real life experience. Mm -hmm. She is like take the instrumental out, take everything off and just let her sing, she can go. And so that's one of the things that caught my attention. Right, you have to um, be transparent in writing. And I know it's kind of hard for some artists to be transparent. It's like, you know, you talk about stuff that you don't experience, but I feel like if you, you know, if you're transparent and you're writing from real life experiences or, or other people's experiences, then you'll be able to connect to someone because it's something that actually happened. Need a fresh do or fresh cut? Well, Salon Serae is the place to come, where your whole family can come and get their needs met. We have five stylists and two barbers on staff. We specialize in sew-ins, quick weaves, braids, and blowouts. Also offered is eyebrow arching and eyelash extensions. We use nothing but the best on our customers with products by Design Essentials. We have two of the best barbers in town who specialize in any type of cuts from tip fades, tape ups, and low cuts. We have weekly specials and we offer military and student discounts at 10 percent. So come on down to Salon Saray located at 4437 Skidaway Road or call to book your appointment today at 912-355-5750.
where we love you more than biscuits and gravy and keep it simple and tasty. We have a variety of foods to choose from, a seafood omelet, salmon breakfast, and fried chicken and grits. We also have a patio for you to enjoy the nice weather with our special lemonade to help cool you down on these hot savannah mornings. Come on by Grits and Grits, located at 2019 Harris Street, where we're filled with food, family, friends, and fun. Grits and Grits, Grits Looking for some good old down south home cooked chicken? Well, you've come to the right place. Northern Chicken Express offers a variety of your favorite chicken dinners from the two piece dark meat chicken with fries for only $2.99 to the three piece mix with fries for a little less than $6. With down south southern hospitality, Northern Chicken Express ensures that you'll leave with a smile and a plate full of chicken. Visit us at 3125 Skidaway Road in Savannah, Georgia or call in. Looking for a wide selection of flavored shisha or maybe a nice cigar? Well, it's time to stop by Smoke City, your one-stop shop for tasty shisha, tobacco accessories, a fine variety of cigars, hookahs and hookah cases, vaporizers, and more. Decorate your pad and bizarre posters and the essence of incense. We sell cigarettes, cigars, hookah, shisha, water pipes, anything for your smoking needs. Come to Smoke City. With four locations, Smoke City Smoke Shop of Jacksonville, Orange Park, San Jose, and Savannah, Georgia, are proud to assist you. Smoke City, let's experiment. Um, sometimes I do feel as if independent artists can be better than the main mainstream um, artists, only because with some independent artists, I feel like it's a lot of talent that's out and not being hurt. My soul, my mind, tell me what is enough to prove I'm ready for love. I'm ready, I'm ready. is Dynasty Houston. Um, I am a graduating senior here at Savannah State University and once I graduate I plan on going into the world of music. Um, I want to be a radio personality when I grow up. Um, when I hear new R&B music and uh, if I'm hearing the music for the first time some of the things that catch my attention is one the talent of the singer the vocals uh, that's that's one of the key things of uh, for R&B music a lot of times in say hip-hop rap a garbage rapper can be disguised by a good beat you know if you got a good beat something you can bob your head to you might not be that talented lyrically um, and, but with R&B and soul and and songs in that genre or to it's have a hard. really good song if the talent is lacking if if a person can't sing a person can't sing there's not much you could do to that song to make it sound better you can't put a fancy beat on it you can't put an awesome instrumental behind it if you can't sing you can't sing so uh, that's one of the th first things I look for when I listen to the song is the vocals the talent. their own stuff like that since labels are not trying to pick them up because you know they're not hot right now or they may not have that sound of what's being heard at the time so I do definitely feel like independent artists sometimes um, are a bit better than mainstream artists he's been saying what I like and he makes me smile when I'm My name is Valicia Austin. I am a senior business management major here at Savannah State. And I needed to hear, but that's as far as it's 
I usually find them on YouTube when artists do covers of popular songs and they usually have music pages and so I just scroll and listen to music that way to listen to independent art. Cause it seems like I'm always alone. I think those are the most talented artists actually because they don't have any as much control and boundaries that record labels tend to put on popular artists. So they're able to use their creativity and talent to do what it is that they want. Sweet and true, but I'm cold. And how they're able to take certain runs and put their own spin to it. That's usually what sticks out the most. Whenever you're around, um, I sing because it's uh, it's good for me. It makes me happy, and uh, it's therapeutic. Uh, uh, it uh, helps me express myself in a way that sometimes talking or writing about it does. As you found your way back to me, then I lost you to the fray. A frenzy of words, now I don't know what to say. We go on like nothing's changed. So if I was, I was like, like I don't know, alternative R and B, alternative soul. Now I don't know what to say, but I start with I'm sorry, I was wrong, and forgive me, I mean you no harm, and if you could find it deep in your heart. To forgive me, then don't go, don't go. I listen to a lot of YouTube artists like Lisa Levy. Uh, I listen to my brother Ken J. Martin, he's really great. Um, who else do I listen to? Uh, it's a lot of different people, I don't know their names, but I just go through their videos on YouTube. I like their pages, and uh, it was people that I was like, oh man, you did a good job on that, I listened to you, and um, like when I go to do covers and stuff, I love to check out their covers and see what they did, make sure that, you know, whatever I'm going to do with my top there, <laughs> so, so I got an arsenal of covers that I want to do, I haven't quite got around to them, because you know, I'm still in college and it's hard to balance that and this, but uh, when I get... It's definitely good to listen to other artists who are not on, uh, so to speak, who are not signed or uh, promoted or uh, music label. Because you get a very uh, raw uh, perception of their talent and the magnitude of what they can bring. Um, a lot of artists are dolled up behind a persona that you can't really get to who they really are. And then when you do get a glimpse of who they really are, they're not the person that they've been dolled up. Like when you fall in love with a song, you don't fall in love with just the lyrics. Or they fall in love with the whole thing. That's why it's a song. You know, uh, I fell in love with the sound of the sound of the voices, how the band plays, how the music, how everything just comes together. And when you see it live, and you got everything, and then that one part that's not how it's supposed to be, how it's always been, sticks out like a sore thumb. I feel like it's more, it's personal, it's what you feel like if you, I feel like I, I have to make a lane for myself, I have to uh, mold this journey for myself, I don't look at the industry or worry about the next artist, it's like I don't worry about all of that, like all the social, you know, reform and stuff like that, I just make sure I stand my own. So, I want to put a lot of music that is, that people can kind of dance to, but you know, I'm not, 
a dancer per se per se i am i want it to be like soul music i want to be like a mixture between like like d'angelo and frank ocean type of thing i want it to be just real chill um something that people can just relax to a lot of people can relate to smoking so i gotta say it's like smoke music um, i would like to make sure I promote that and I have more time to travel and things of that nature so and you know eventually I have to move out of Savannah in order to uh, broaden my horizon so you know um, whatever, however the Lord, whatever the Lord sees fit you know if I have to get a job I'll get a job or it really doesn't matter you know I, I can't really call I can't really call it it's all a part of the journey and that's the beauty and not knowing that w what you're going to do it's like okay I'm here okay now what no, I can't really tell you that, but I know that I'm going to go ahead first into my music. I know that because I have a lot more time on my hands. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Just, you know, follow your dreams. <laughs> you know, everything that you believe in, the things that you think about in your mind um, are the things that will come to pass if you just believe. I'm a firm, firm, firm believer in that. So, yeah.